Welcome to 2 Minutes Bio. In this video, we'll discuss mitochondria, chloroplasts, and lysosomes. We'll discuss from mitochondria first. Mitochondria is a double membrane organelle that is located around the nucleus. The main function of mitochondria is to undergo cellular respiration to produce energy using glucose. So, mitochondria is like a power plant of the cell since it provides energy called ATP. ATP is like an electricity that provides energy to perform a variety of activities. Without ATP, many of the cellular activities cannot be performed. So the function of mitochondria is crucial. The structure of mitochondria is highly adapted to undergo cell respiration. The invaginated inner membrane is called cristae, which greatly increases the surface area of the production site of ATP. The volume of the intermembrane space, which is the space between outer membrane and inner membrane, is small enough to build up the concentration gradient rapidly. Now, let's look at chloroplasts. Chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis. This structure is like a mine of coal, which allows you to produce a source of energy within the cell. Mitochondria was a power plant of the cell. But in order to produce power, we need source of energy like coal. In the case of organisms, that is the glucose. Although animal cells must ingest glucose by feeding on other organisms, plants can produce glucose utilizing CO2 in the air because of chloroplasts. This process is called photosynthesis. Having this structure, allows you to obtain nutrient sources without ingesting anything like animals. Only plants have this structure, so plants can be said to be the producer and exporter of the energy. On the other hand, since animals need to feed on other organisms to get glucose, they can be said to be the importer of the energy. Let's see lysosomes next. Lysosome is like a garbage incinerator that breaks down waste materials of cell, such as old or damaged organelles. Autophagy, which is performed by lysosomes, is a process of cleaning out damaged cells in order to generate new cells. This process is activated when you're fasting. Lysosome is one of the organelles that has the most benefit from compartmentalization, as the pH of the environment within the lysosome is much more acidic than the cytoplasm. But surprisingly, plant cells usually don't have lysosomes. 